Is Sachin pilot about to take off from the Congress? Will he do another Sindhya? Where will he land? Will he set up his own political party? Could he join the Aam Admi party? Or is this just muscle flexing? Is he just looking to put the Congress high command under pressure? Joining me on the news track, my colleague Rajdeep Sardesai. Uh, with us also is uh, Rashid Kidwai, one of the best known trackers of the Congress party. Sanjay Jha joins us, political analyst. The Congress has chosen not to join this discussion uh, on television. We've got Taisin Punawala who will give us hopefully a Congress leaning perspective. Rajiv Desai has worked with Congress campaigns in the past. He joins us on this broadcast as does Rakhi Rathor from the BJP in Rajasthan. I want to go across to Rajdeep first. Rajdeep first, happy anniversary. Second, what do you think is going to happen? Is uh, Sachin Pilot about to take off? Is he intending to join uh, the AAP, set up a third front? Rajasthan typically hasn't had a third front. Or is he just flexing his muscles, showing them what he's made up of and that they can't take him lightly? Rajdeep. You know, Rahul, the interesting aspect of this whole Pilot versus Gaylord uh, long-running soap opera is that no one has any clarity at least in the pilot camp about the end game what does mr pilot do next yes you're pushing the congress high command to take some kind of a stand but you've been doing that now for several years and the high command takes one step forward and then goes two steps back you'll recall six months ago there was this move to move Mr. Gaylord to the center as the Congress president, eventually he virtually defied the Congress high command. Disciplinary action was promised against the MLAs, but nothing happened. And now in the last six months, you get the sense that Ashok Gaylord, if anything, has only fortified and strengthened himself. So Mr. Pilot now is left with very few options, eight months to go for elections. His preferred option remains to remain in the Congress, get some assurances, and be at least in a position to be seen as uh, the next generation leader. But even that assurance at the moment has not come from the Congress leadership. Option number two is form this wider uh, a platform where you bring in uh, the Aam Aadmi Party, possibly a few other smaller parties, and be projected as an alternative to the Gelot Vasundra duopoly that's existed in Rajasthan. Uh, and, and your third option, uh, is to join hands with the BJP, which I'm told is not happening because this is not a state where Mr. Pilot will find it easy to deal with the BJP existing leadership. So either way, Sachin Pilot is in a bit of a box, Rahul, and I think he's looking for a way out, hoping that the Congress High Command will listen to his grievances and actually give him some concrete assurances. Far from that, so far, the Congress High Command has almost accused him of anti-party activities, clearly suggesting that uh, under Mr. Kharge, this High Command is slowly moving closer towards Mr. Gelot and has decided almost definitely that 2023 will be fought under Ashok Gelot's leadership. Remember, there's now less than a year to go for the Rajasthan Assembly elections will happen towards the end of this year. There isn't enough time left to be able to make the change and for Sachin Pilot to fully entrench himself in the Chief Minister's seat. So it's unlikely that there will be a change now, which is what Sachin's uh, pushing for.